A massive update has gone live for the MCC, bringing in some new content and what's going to be coming for the next two months worth of stuff coming into the game. Now IGN released some gameplay of the map Streets with uh, some questionable gameplay. Let's just say that. So let's stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. The channel keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And today we have a big Halo news day. We got some gameplay up for Halo Infinite on the new map streets, which uh, caused some controversy to say the least. And we have a cool like 20th anniversary of Halo celebration with new content coming into the MCC with all being funneled through the exchange and some really interesting stuff that you're gonna wanna use your season points for. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as they ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so let's get right into the news that's going to affect you directly and that is today being the celebration of 20 years of halo and xbox here guys and like i mentioned on the channel we're going to get a big update today and it was a 35 gigabyte update download for me on steam which came with a bunch of new customization options and some new things coming in through the exchange that you guys are definitely going to want to check out we're going to go over all that right now we have the original armor set for master chief the orion armor set coming for halo 2 anniversary out of all the games which is really interesting and here's an in-game image of the orion armor set guys i mean it looks pretty true to the original 1999 mac world reveal so this is pretty sweet and it's also cool that it came for halo 2 anniversary so it might actually incentivize people to play that game a bit more because i love h2a i think it's underplayed for sure within the master chief collection and you know we'll be doing some live streams on my twitch channel guys link in the description down below grinding out this content here guys for those seasonal points and playing around with this cool stuff some weapon skins some back accessories as well as a batch of brand new nameplates as you can see right here the 20th anniversary the halo infinite kitten looking one which is kind of fun clippy is in here that's pretty awesome and also a nice little reference to the believe trailer for halo 3 right here i mean amazing nameplates here for sure and there's more to come and here's some of that 20th anniversary content coming into the mcc through the exchange with these weekly updates so today we have the halo 2 anniversary orion armor set which is the original armor set from the 1999 mac world reveal from halo guys so this is pretty freaking awesome you have an xbox controller shoulder an xbox original xbox called the beast for halo 3 multiplayer back back right there you have the assault rifle for halo 3 which looks absolutely amazing we have the mirage armor coming to halo 3 as well a new battle rifle skin coming in for halo 3 on december 1st as well as the rucksack backpack coming in for halo 3 on top of that again each one of these pieces will be releasing every week within the exchange so you better save up those points but wait there's more as well. We have the hydration container for Halo Reach right here, which has like the Bronx fish on it, which is pretty awesome to be honest. We have some returning items coming back in. We have a backpack for them as well. The Halo 3 Magnum skin comes in on December 22nd, with, along with the Grunt plushie and the Xbox backpack. And then on December 29th, we have the rocket launcher and shotgun OG Xbox skin, and then the return of the Orion armor set on January 5th. Former community manager at 343 Bravo also apparently has something going on with Halo saying for over the past 12 months I've been working on a very special Halo content project it is by far my biggest creative undertaking to date and I absolutely cannot wait to share it for you all. That announcement coming today at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But keep your eyes glued to the channel here guys if anything awesome comes from that. We had some gameplay for the new map Street Subs revealed this week and uh, the gameplay left a little bit to be desired to say the least. See for yourself here. So interesting thing here is that they showcase Oddball, which is the first time it's gonna be back in Halo at launch since I believe Halo 4 had Oddball at launch back in 2012. And so the interesting thing that they changed it up where it has two rounds to win. So you're gonna have to have win two rounds of Oddball to win the game here, which is a different pacing compared to traditionally where it's just get to 150 points, I believe, or score, and then that's how often you win. Oftentimes that would lead to various times where you could were mathematically unable to come back and play, which is kind of odd and awkward to have happen within like competitive matches, especially since Oddball is going to be a competitive mode within Halo. By the way, you can see a new armor set right here. I think this is kind of like the Gunnier armor set with like the face covering taken off, which is kind of interesting there as well. But yeah, you can see the gameplay starts off and the guy is AFK. Uh, this is gameplay journalism at its best, I think, in this video. <laughs> um, it's caused up a bit of controversy on Twitter where they're like, 
if you're gonna have like people play the game and showcase it to like, you know, probably this video will probably get like a million views on their channel, which is great for IGN. But wouldn't you want to have somebody that can actually like play the game or something like that? You know, uh, you can clearly tell that this person's like, this is the first time playing Halo, probably since Combat Evolved even would be my guess. And uh, it was a very, uh, painful wash to say the least right here i think we also had this amazing sub tweet which i think is just hilarious i'm not gonna show the developer because i don't want to like, out them or anything like that but saying here uh, are you a new or lapsed shooter player who's looking to up your skills for halo infinite that's why we're building the academy to provide maps modes and bots to help you become a super soldier in no time this was posted literally like 30 minutes after the gameplay reveal. Uh, the subtweet level on this is amazing. But the interesting thing is this match runs for just about five and a half minutes. These oddball games might be running a bit long, like 10, 15 minute long games or something like that at the most or something like that. But the biggest takeaway thing from this was the uh, the gameplay. I mean, it's kind of caused a bit of a meme for the most part for the years, right? Where gameplay from journalists tend to don't really show off the gameplay super well uh, just because they don't know what they're doing for the most part. And you can clearly tell that the person who's playing here doesn't know what they're doing. And uh, it's just kind of a shame that you, this is how you show off the game, right? You want to have people who like show off all the cool stuff that you can do in the game, not just like windmill spray with an assault rifle and hopefully land a melee or something like that. Man, this was just a painful watch, to be honest. I get, I just like, it's rough, dude. But uh, gameplay wise, when it comes to information, like, yeah, so you can see that the oddball game mode has been split up in rounds and you have to win two rounds. So it looks like it'll be most likely uh, three rounds would be the absolute most you would play, which each time are being about five minutes each round. This is kind of interesting choice to go about doing that i think it might be for the fact that a lot of times with oddball games can be a bit of a runaway kind of game because if you get like a really good setup right it can be really tough to break we've seen this in halo 3 i've definitely seen situations where like they've players have been gone into a setup that it's basically impossible to break and it kind of just waits to like the end of the game to where you can actually win the game. Uh, this also happened a lot with the Halo 2 anniversary when they had oddball, especially like on lockout. That setup is really tough to break as well. And it's like overall, like spectating wise, not really that interesting. As well as also gameplay wise, where you're just kind of like constantly just wave after wave trying to take out these players and then obviously not being able to break it. Uh, so it kind of interesting to see how this really does play out with these different rounds that they have now with oddball rather than one continuous game uh we just have to wait and see how it plays out but let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this gameplay and also on the idea of breaking oddball up into rounds and having to win three rounds right here anyway here's our first look at the sentinel beam at uh officially at least within halo and uh you can see the guy here like tries to like tap fire the sentinel beam uh that's interesting <laughs> Uh, but the Sentinel Beam does look awesome, sounds awesome, and I cannot wait to get a chance my hands on actually playing this. But yeah guys, Streets looks to be a very interesting map right here, some good angles and very fast paced frenetic gameplay. Look, they figured out how to sprint now, check it out, that's uh, good for them, you know? So I think this is going to be very interesting to see how also this map plays out, since it does seem very close quarters, not very much in the way of long range engagements. Uh, so we could see like the assault rifle, the sidekick, and maybe even the commando, if you're accurate with it, really take hold of this map right here. But again, we'll just have to wait until we actually get a chance to play it, which obviously I think our current situation is playing this on December 8th, but there has been rumors of getting early access multiplayer stuff. Uh, but those are only been leaks and rumors that we covered on the last week in Halo episode, guys. So if you want to catch that, it's on the channel here. But other than that, guys, this is just like oddball in Halo Infinite. It uh, doesn't really look like they did anything too crazy with the oddball. It's a two-hit melee as well, which is, uh, I think, probably the better way to go about using uh, playing oddball as well. I mean, I've had it before where it was like a one-hit melee. A bit crazy there for sure. And so I think right now, oddball is looking like a good, solid game mode. Really interesting. And I can't wait to get my hands on playing it, man. I just... Give me some Halo Infinite, please. That's all I ask, dude. That's all I'm asking. It's like, is that is it that much to ask for? I guess so. <laughs> so if you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, here's a playlist for all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.